Tulsi, great to have you with us here today. Hey, Don. Finally, we keep missing each other every time. I know, <laughs> like, like ships passing in the night. Whatever. We literally miss each other by like six hours. So I uh, I'm so really excited about Thanks having this conversation. I'm glad we're doing it now because, you know, it's it's sort of interesting. I, I, you know, I sort of, I leave my comments up here on the live stream. Uh, and even for the last couple of months, you know, uh, you're thrown out as a you know a VP potential hopeful. Uh, some people love, some people scared. They don't know what to what to sort of make of it. I, but you've you've been pretty clear. You've been attacked by the Democrat Party. When did you realize you no longer fit that party mold? What moments really stand out to you in all of this? Yeah, well, Don, before you came on, uh, or actually when you first started your opening comments, uh, I took a look at the comments coming in as well and. And to all of all of you who have questions or concerns, um, this is one of the reasons why I wrote this book. Mm -hmm. uh, I joined the Democratic Party over 20 years ago when I first ran for state house here in Hawaii. I was 21 years old. The Democratic Party looked completely different back then, even 10 years ago, looked quite different than it does today. Uh, I can't tell you that there was one singular moment that that caused me to say, OK, this is it. The Democratic Party has left me behind, but it was a it was a continued escalation of of events and comments and the the overall mentality that show that the Democrat Party of today does not care about our country. They don't care about the Constitution. They certainly don't care about the American people. They care about one thing, and that's power. Mm -hmm. And everything that we've seen play out in the Biden administration over the last three and a half years points to exactly that objective whether we're talking about what's happening at the border or we're talking about the lawfare and the use misuse of the department of justice and law enforcement to go after their foremost political opponent president trump as well as others who have the audacity just to challenge their position or speak up in opposition to it they too are targeted there i go into my book my book is for love of country leave the democrat party behind and I go into each of these really big issues that I wanted to focus on that all kind of center into our fundamental rights, our God-given rights and freedoms enshrined in the Constitution, and how the Democrat Party of today is doing all that they possibly, possibly can to undermine those rights and take away our very identity of who we are as Americans in this great country.